Well, it's been a pretty cloudy day, pretty gloomy. Temperatures cooler as well. We are actually getting the outer cloud bands of what used to be Hurricane Irma. Not quite the rain yet, and the wind, if you've probably been outside, you may feel a little gust out there. That is also from Irma as well. Well, we are eventually going to get that rain. It's going to be moving in pretty quickly, so we'll get to that. But first, a look outside our Kentucky One Health weather bug camera, St. Joseph Hospital, and obviously, yeah, pretty, pretty gloomy out there. As far as that we're looking at the satellite, uh, well, that's where <laughs> Irma used to be. Let's talk about where it is now. That's now into Georgia, where the center of circulation is, just off to the north of the state line with Florida. But look where the reach gets out to, all the way up towards Canada. They're starting to see some of the outer cloud bands of the storm itself. So still a massive undertaking with it. Not a Category 5 anymore. It is a tropical storm. The sustained winds have come down to about 60 miles per hour, which is a high-end tropical storm. But eventually will continue to keep its strength, at least until we get into sometime tomorrow, right around midday. That's when it should become a tropical depression. And then eventually just a post-tropical wave of low pressure. But look where it does come, up into the Paducah area. And remember where all the rain and all the wind is sitting? On the north side of the storm. So we are in the path of the storm. Good news is, not expecting much out of it. Definitely not as much rain as what we had when Harvey came through. But we could be seeing anywhere between an inch, maybe two inches of rain, especially for the bluegrass, a little bit higher amounts for our southern counties where it's all coming from at this point. Localized spots up to three. Not expecting any kind of a flooding scenario with the storm, although minor creeks and streams, maybe some poor drainage areas could get some flooding out of this. And remember, if you do see any of that and use caution, do not drive through a flooded area. Now, the wind is going to be the next scenario, and really not a whole lot coming out of it. We do have some gust up today, but really it's tomorrow morning is when the bulk, the peak of the wind gets here. And sustained winds up to 20, maybe 25 miles per hour, gust occasionally to 30, 35. So we're looking at thunderstorm wind strength. You know, just one of those typical thunderstorms that come through. That's pretty much what it's going to be. So not expecting anything as far as damaging wind goes, but there is at least a small potential. Winds die down through Tuesday into Wednesday, and then that's it. Irma's finished, at least for Kentucky. And we'll keep moving north and east with the upper winds. Medium threat for flash flooding and damaging wind gusts. Other than that, everything is a no threat with this storm, so we will stay at a severe threat index of zero throughout the day. So what to expect? Well, just between those winds gusting to 35 and the rainfall one to two inches, maybe up to three, I'd say we're going to get through Irma pretty well. But we're not out of the tropics just yet, especially for Florida. Hurricane Jose, a Category 2 storm with 105 mile per hour winds, just going to circle in the Atlantic for a while, but get picked up by some high pressure out in the Atlantic. And that will send it somewhere towards the U.S. Whether it makes a U.S. landfall, we don't know yet. We still have a long ways to go before that. There's a few days. We do have a lot of wind advisories down south. A few of our southern counties are actually included in this. Not showing up right now, but just be aware there is going to be some wind to deal with. But the 35 mile per hour wind gust is about the best we're going to do. So rain lasts all the way through Thursday. Then it's going to start to wrap itself up. As we get into the weekend, things are looking much better. Plenty of sunshine coming back into play. Temperatures will warm back up to around where they're supposed to be this time of the year. It's been a lot cooler. Look at that, 67 for Wednesday because of all the cloud coverage. So we get back to 80 by Saturday. Looking nice for the weekend. Next chance for rain, shower, thunderstorm activity gets here by the beginning of next week. Still nothing, nothing very hot. On no, that no. I, I'm, and, and I think, you know, just having temperatures where they're supposed to be, not too bad for the weekend. It's very nice. Yeah. Thanks. You got it.